We're here at the most expensive house in Las Vegas. What you see behind me is listed at $32.5 million by my good friend Ivan Share, who I've done other videos with on this channel. But this is by far the craziest one that we've ever toured. So instead of me telling you about it, let's go take a look. This house is over 14,000 square feet, and if you count everything under the roof, it's over 30,000 square feet of just indoor, outdoor feel. On top of that, there's a whole bunch of other cool things like an indoor basketball court, some of the best strip views you've ever seen, and as you can see right behind me, we've even got a rock climbing wall. But let's go meet Ivan and tour the rest of the home. What's up, Ryan? What's up, man? Good, to, Good see to see you. Come on in, bud. Yeah. This. This is crazy, dude. What do you think? The entrance. Yeah. Like this entrance is absolutely crazy. Like this waterfall, what is this, 20 feet? The, the door walking in. I mean, the thing about this house, you and I have seen many houses together and we're gonna see many more, but this one is, there's nothing like it. No. I mean, I was talking to, to a buddy of mine, when you're a kid and you're thinking about your dream house growing up, you don't realize you can actually make it. And as you'll see, this is one of those houses. This looks like a dream home. Uh, I'm curious, like I'm excited to see it. Yeah, well, let's, let's go yeah. take a look around. I mean, you know, this, as you know, I, I try and get you into the homes before they actually come on the market. So right now we're not officially on the market, but we will be. This home is, I mean, it is like a piece of art. Yeah. Everything from the light fixtures in the dining room to some of the amenities that you'll see as we go throughout the house. You know, we got three levels different levels of entertainment. We've got the reverse hurricane uh, uh, spiral fire features. It's all awesome. There's tons of glass throughout the house. Yeah. Well, when I look at this, the first thing I see is just everything is together. You've got this living room that, man, I don't even know how tall these ceilings are. Definitely the tallest ceilings I've ever seen. Yes. The dining room right here is just beautiful. And like you mentioned, look at this fire. I, I've never even seen this in my life. The reverse hurricanes, it's incredible. Yeah. And it's such a, such a conversation piece. Yeah. Like, you could come up and say, what is this? I say, Ryan, that's a reverse hurricane. And look at us talking. I'm like, I, I've never don't heard e of that. Don't even know what to say. I, I only thought hurricanes came <laughs> from you know, the, the ground. From the ground, and here we go. Yeah. It's super cool. And everything opens up. I mean, we only have half the house open up. The back of the house, which clearly is the focal point of the house, yeah. is what's open. But all the front windows open. All the flooring is heated inside and out. You got heaters above in the, uh, in the outdoor spaces, which we'll go take a look at. Well, but even looking at this, like I couldn't even tell that this is the outside over here. I know we're gonna go tour that here in a sec, but it just all feels the same. And that was it. It was a seamless integration of indoor outdoor. Yeah. You know, it worked out, it worked out really great. So I'm looking at this kitchen and the first thing that I notice is this table. There's no legs. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I mean, there's always a story behind these kind of things. You know, we have this cantilevered steel, steel uh, table. And the first time that, uh, that the seller, the owner of the property wanted to build us, they said it couldn't be done. Right. So of course he found somebody else who said it could be done. And here you're looking at this incredible, again, artful piece of architecture. Yeah. And we actually got to speak with the owner. He's very uh, no nonsense kind of guy like, yo, this is going to get done. It's going to get done. Yeah. If no, you can't do it, somebody else can. Exactly. And he was right. I mean, this is for sure the biggest cantilever I've seen as well. I and mean, you could fit five chairs here. You got five in the back, another couple there. It's amazing. It, everything is very custom and individual in this house. Yeah. Well, I noticed these iPads too. These probably control the whole house. It, they, you're, you're right, they control the whole house, but it's, they're using Crestron Pro, which is an elevated version of Crestron. But as you'll see later on, not only does it control everything in the house, from the locks to lighting to the, uh, to the fire features and everything along those lines and the doors and drapes, but it also all the lighting here is set. So it can be virtually any color. I know mm. for the holidays, for Christmas, he's got the red and green. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day, just click, 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 click. And all the lights throughout the whole house change. It's incredible. Well, and looking at the lights too, to me, it looks like they can move. Yeah. And spotlight whatever they want to do. It's, it's, as I mentioned, very custom. Wow. That's amazing. The other thing that I notice about this home is just all of the textures and different levels to everything. So 
When I look at the ceiling, right, you've got like this floating kind of box type deal. It looks really cool. Just on every single wall, you've got stones, you've got the backsplash, you've got like everything, man. It's crazy, just the level of detail. So you picked up on an important point for the owner. He wanted multi-level of texture. He also wanted only hard surfaces, and he wanted only hard surfaces for, for the flooring. There's no carpet throughout the house. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. Yeah. And speaking of the hard surface, right, we're now entering the outside of the home, which you would never know. <laughs> you just, you think that this is all part of the same thing. You've got this beautiful wood texture on the ceiling. The flooring's the exact same. You've got a very similar dining table to the one inside. It actually might be the exact same. It, you know, and it is seamless. This so, is probably one of the greatest outdoor kitchens I've ever seen. Yeah. And I mean, not only is it seamless from the outside to the inside, but when it gets warm, like occasionally it does in Las Vegas, um, these, you can see how everything is framed out for screens. Yeah, and, I can see the screens right here. And the screens drop and dramatically drop the heat. Yeah. Cause, and it keeps us as living space. It's super cool. Yeah. It adds square footage. And like you mentioned, this outdoor kitchen is truly amazing. You've got this waterfall island. You've got even beer on tap over there. And who can have beer on tap without having ice cream? So they put an ice cream machine right here. Oh, geez, right I didn't see this. So you you've got, got, <laughs> you got the ice cream machine, beer on tap. That looks like a hibachi grill. Yeah. Okay, so you got hibachi. What is this? It's a pizza oven. Okay, so you've got the pizza oven as well. You got your, your barbecue, your pizza oven, your refrigerator, your beer. You can have ice cream beer floats. And then you also have to have your hot dog machine. I mean, what, what else could you have here? Yeah. I mean, it really encompasses everything. You got your sitting area, lots of fire features. But as you'll see when you go out here, because everything is built for this entertaining, you have multiple outdoor uh, projection screens for TV, movies, yeah. uh, videos, etc. So tell me about this over here, because this has got to be an indoor couch. I've never seen like a leather couch this nice outdoors. And it's only able to do that because of just the way this home is built. The fact that it's enclosed, the fact that you've got the screens to protect you, uh, and absolutely, he really wanted outdoor living space. Yeah. That's protected from the sun. Then of course, outdoor space where you can take advantage of the sun. So with all of this enclosed area that's technically outdoor, it's not even counted with the square footage, right? Correct. Like we're talking almost 30,000 square feet of just indoor outdoor experience. It's, you, you nailed it. It's about 30,000 square feet of indoor outdoor experience. It's fantastic. And it, and it truly is indoor outdoor because as we've seen, we can utilize the space and take advantage of it and climatize it. Well, one thing we haven't even touched on is this view. Like this might be one of the best views I've ever seen in Vegas just because of where it's located. We've done the ones in McDonald Highlands where I'm building my home and the strip looks different everywhere you're at. And like this view of the strip just gives me like the most clear picture I've ever seen. You have to remember, Ryan, you nailed it. The strip is our ocean out here. Right. If you're gonna, if you're gonna build a house like this, you gotta have a strip view. And arguably, this is one of the best strip views I've ever seen. I agree with you. Absolutely insane. And it's channeled by the golf course and the, 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 the land contour. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Just seeing this hole right here might even just, you know, tee up right here with uh, the golf ball. I don't know if he's ever done that, probably. <laughs> just go ahead and drive. but. It's beautiful. And speaking of golf, you know, I'm trying to get into golf and I've been getting lessons and practicing, but if I had this, I would probably be a lot better. This is really cool putting green. It's probably the biggest putting green I've seen too. I mean, look at this. I mean, there's really nothing this house doesn't have. Right. From outdoor to indoor entertainment, but this putting green is incredible, you're right. All right, Ivan, I found the putters. Great. We're on hole six right now. Okay. I'll make you a bet. Whoever's closest to the hole, obviously yep. we're hoping to get in, but whoever's yep. closest, gets to drive the other's car for a week. All right, I mean, I think I'm uh, pretty insecure about that, but let's go ahead and do it. All right, so you just got the new Cayenne Turbo. I did, I got that. All right, I got the Porsche Taycan. I know you did. Okay, so I wanna drive it, you know? Yeah. So well, if I'm closest, and I'll go first too, because you can kind of read mine. Here we go. Guys, that wasn't video editing. Like, that was legit first try. Can I retract my bet? No, you can't. Okay. So you got to force a playoff now. Oh, and no cigar. All right. It's cool, yours, man. buddy. Thank you.
It's yours. I'll let my wife drive it. She'll enjoy it. <laughs> Now I don't have a car for a week, so I appreciate that. Well, if you sell this, you know, you'll be able to get another one. It's no big deal. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So, I mean, everything in this backyard and the back of the house is all about entertaining, as we discussed. The space that we just walked by, we can look back at the strip and the golf course. Right. And then, of course, we come up to this gorgeous pool. Yeah. I now, mean, this pool is huge. Oh, yes, 37,000 gallons. Wow. It's unbelievable. Well, the thing I like, too, is that it's very square and usable. A lot of pools I see in these modern homes are like crazy. You can't use them like this is like, yeah, you got your sun deck over here. It looks like you got another one over there. I'm guessing that's the jacuzzi, right? Absolutely. And then just a huge pool. A huge pool. They got the iridescent glass tile. Oh yeah. So obviously when the sun hits it, it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. As I said, everything in this house is art. You got um, towel warmers on the outside. Oh, I mean, is who, that what this is? Who does that? That's in your bathroom. I thought this was like part of the design of the house, but this keeps the towel warm. <laughs> keeps the towel, it keeps the towel warm. Yeah. Well, speaking of textures too, we touched on this, but I love this. It looks kind of metal, but it looks like a stone. Exactly, it's more like a porcelain ceramic kind of a thing. Yeah. It's gorgeous and it adds texture and flavor to the house. Right. And speaking of outdoor areas, what exactly is this? Well, obviously we got water features and glass throughout the house. Yeah. One of the other common themes that you'll see is televisions. You'll yeah. see outdoor entertainment. This television, obviously you can't see it, it elevates. Right. And on either side, you can see how this is framed out here. Yeah. And on the other side as well, they're projection screens. Oh, wow. There are projectors that drop down. There's a projector, there's a projector on the other side. Wow. So you can watch TV videos anywhere. Well, and I just realized too, this TV is meant for the jacuzzi. Correct. And you've also got this bar top with the jacuzzi too. So you can absolutely. Wow. That's pretty cool. awesome. So just in case they didn't want to go all the way back over there to watch TV and chill, you've got this whole other chill area with TVs and you know bars and everything else too. I mean, everything is set up so that wherever you are, you can relax and enjoy the space. And you know, we talked about the technology of the house. We talked about all the things that it can do. One of the things we didn't touch on that's so often overlooked is the audio components, the speaker system for entertainment. Their outdoor speaker system is louder and more clear than most people's indoor speaker systems. It's like a concert. It's like a concert, and yeah. that's what he wanted. Yeah. He wanted to make sure that all of his neighbors knew he was having a party, <laughs> so he clearly invites them all beforehand to take well, this thing out. And the cool thing about this is there's only like three houses in this little block. In this enclave, just three. Yeah, that's, that's super cool. Yeah. Now, we saw the outdoor deck. It leads directly into the other side of the house. You would never even know. It's all seamless. Another living space, yep. indoor and outdoor. I mean, having hundreds of people in this house yeah. doesn't even put a dent. No. And you got to tell me, he's got a man cave, right? Oh my God, he's got several. Yeah. But what we're going to go see now is super special. So when you're building a house in today's world, you want to have a private space, a hangout space, a space where you can take a look and enjoy the, yeah. the game element of the house. And look at this. I mean, from art, I mean, this, this, is, this is something special. All the major mobsters and their signatures. That's a man cave space. Very fitting for a man cave. Absolutely. Vegas's mob history, you know. Right there. Everything. What you, else would be important in a man cave? No, you've got all of the sports stuff. You've got, you got the Muhammad games, Ali. Muhammad yeah. Muhammad Ali, another bar. I love the art. That shark is cool. And if you run out of cash, you got cash right here. You can get a loan. It's right there. It's perfect. <laughs> signed, signed guitars. Yep. Music memorabilia. I mean, I, this is my kind of space. Yeah. And you got your, just like at, uh, at T-Mobile Arena, you got your, your displays on all sides. Yep. And you can gamble legally. You can gamble. <laughs> We're in Vegas. We're in Vegas. So buddy, wait till you see this. Talk about a man cave. This is a two part man cave. Oh man. You know, I love basketball. This is awesome. Well, if you're as good at basketball as you are at golf, I'm not going to challenge you. Yeah. You know, I'm going to just end this day being up. You know, there's no reason to play double or nothing. Yeah. But, Unless man. you want to play double or nothing. You know, I, I'll take a shot with you if you want to do it. What, what else do you got to bet? What, what's your other car you got? I got, I, we can do the convertible. Okay. The convertible. All right. Let's see. Let's see if you I'll can. I'll give you the Ticon if, uh, you know. Just you all me. you have to do is make a shot. Make I'm a not shot. even going to shoot. Oh, you're not going to no, shoot. It's all Just on me. you. All right, here we go. Okay, see if I can get it. Ivan's convertible. Yep. Oh, geez. 
I never hit them. Yeah, I mean, this, this house has it all. In, in all honesty, we got this incredible gym over here. Yep. Which, I mean, it, it's set up beautifully and it opens to the outdoors as well. We got this incredible media room. It's got a 4K experience. All the walls are textured and padded for acoustic treatments. Wow. And obviously all the seats are uh, electronic reclining. Okay. But the one thing that I want you to see right now, which I'm super excited to show you, and it's gonna sound funny, but it's an elevator. Yeah. And it's, the reason it's so interesting is because it's, it's one of a kind, and as you can see, it's made of glass. So super cool, and let's, I mean, this is the best way to go since it's a little warmer out. Yeah. And I'm a little older than you. Do you mind if we just take the elevator? You know, we'll do it. Uh, up or down? Uh, let's go up. All right, let's check it out. I think this is like 150 grand. I believe it. So cool, cool space. And now that we're on the, the top level, and remember there's three levels to this house. Right. The way that the upstairs is set up is that the master has its own private wing. So we're, we're just gonna go straight to the master. Yeah. And I mean, again, just like everything in this house, there is a wow factor that just doesn't come across on, on pictures or videos, but when you see this, you'll yeah. get the point. This is absolutely crazy. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. You have this <laughs> double king bed over here. You've got this beautiful fireplace. It looks like it's even backlit. You've got the strip view and like, dude, there's, it's, it's overwhelming. There's so much going on. Who has a hot tub on their, back, on their balcony with a glass front so you can look out at the strip? Yeah. It's, like, it's absolutely incredible. You got your heaters in the ceiling out here as well. Even this has radiant heat in the flooring. Really? Yeah. So this, <laughs> He thought of everything. One of the things that I didn't even touch on is that there's a drop down projector okay. from the master. Um, and you can see lie in bed and watch TV. Yeah. But you can also sit here because it's mirrored and see it on the other, on the reverse side. Wow. And this chair, this looks super comfy. Take a seat. Oh, it's even comfier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is it. Uh, he's already given me great ideas because you know, my master that I'm building looks out to the strip and I, I was like, man, should I put a hot tub or not? It's already gonna happen. Love it. We gotta have a hot tub. Love it. This proves it. Yeah, this is nuts, man. It's probably the best master I've ever seen. And you know, when it carries through, wait till you see the master bathroom. It's not, I'm mean, calling it a master bathroom okay. is, is the wrong terminology. This is a freaking spa. It's a, uh, we, it's a wellness center. Yeah, this is crazy. You've got... This tub's huge, stainless steel. And what am I walking into over here? So this is, this is actually incredible. What, what they've done out here is they've created this indoor outdoor spa experience. So you can go from your tub to the massage area, or when you walk into the shower, you can have your shower. And if you decide to, you can come outside and have a separate shower outside with all the body washes, all the rain shower heads, then come outside and have your professional or my professional massage yeah you know maybe show off the goods to you know your neighbors if you feel like it yeah why not how i would do it why not become friends with the neighbors yeah i mean everywhere they thought of everything even this television as you at your vanity it's it's ridiculous yeah but seriously look at this freaking closet ryan yeah this we, is huge this looks this reminds me of a locker room kind of deal absolutely Super i mean do you cool. think there'd be room for your and my t-shirts and yeah. Converse or whatever. There's definitely enough room for it's sure. Incredible. Double Island. I love what they did here. Yeah. Okay. Well, awesome. But listen, all this has been great, but I still want to show you one of my favorite parts of the home. Let's head back toward the elevator. All right. So I promise you've never seen anything like this. What am I looking at? Right now, nothing. <laughs> Honestly, this is a part of the, of the house being arts. For this particular owner, he wanted to look at his cars day in and day out and have showcase automobiles. So this elevates right up to the master bedroom. So every day you can come take a look at the newest, newest car that he has. And this is crazy. And then if he's just, you know, trying to be really lazy, he can just walk into his car from the shower. He's ready to go. And absolutely drop it and reverse out. Wow. I, I don't think I'll ever see that again. Maybe your house. Maybe, maybe you're right. <laughs> so Ryan, we've seen a lot. We saved the best for last. Okay. And 
I mean, you see these climbers all up and down the glass. I was noticing that. I didn't really know what they're doing. Well, they're art, but there's a reason for them, and that's what, that's what I want to show you next. So this is a little unexpected, right? Yeah, everything's all modern up here, and then you go into this. It feels like I'm just you know, in this rustic, really cool wine cellar now. And it's like we talked about a man cellar or a man cave. Right. This is, this is not quite that, but it is an art version of a wine cellar and an entertainment space. Wow. And what they did is, you know, you've got all these grand spaces, right. but if it's just you and your buddy or you and some friends and you want to hang out and, and just have a glass of wine or a drink, this is your spot. Yeah, this is like the spot to, you know, have a drink, smoke cigars, like whatever you want to do. And you notice what's outside? I do. Yeah, I have never seen this before in a house. This is, once again, a first of many. This and is so cool. We have a two-story rock climbing exterior facade off of your cigar lounge, yeah. off of the wine cellar. Right. This is so cool. And the thing I really like about this downstairs area is it's not like a huge part of the house. It's very, like you said before, intimate. I love this. And when you have a house like this, if you don't have an intimate space, you're missing something. Yeah. Have you ever climbed this wall? No, no, I'm about as good at climbing as I am at the golf. Okay, yeah. well, that's probably better than I am at basketball. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Ivan, dude, I really appreciate you showing us this house. This is absolutely incredible. I have no doubt it's gonna sell for this. It's just, there's nothing like it. And again, always appreciate you coming out to take a look at, at these incredible houses. This is certainly special. Uh, never seen anything like it either and thrilled that you could be a part of it. Yeah, so if you guys want me to do more tours with Ivan, this is one of a few we've already done. Definitely comment below. And Ivan, if somebody's looking for a luxury home, where do they find you? You know, the, the best place is my website, which is isluxury.com, isluxury.com, is.luxury.com, however you want to say it. Yeah. But anything, anything would be great. Awesome. So guys, go check them out. Ivan's the man when it comes to luxury real estate here in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you.